Why hasn't Jaguars QB Trevor Lawrence lived up to the hype? Jacksonville, Florida Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence is typically not an overly effusive guy. He doesn't give emotional pregame or locker room speeches. He doesn't yell at teammates or coaches on the sideline. That's not how he leads. Jacksonville Jaguars coach Doug Peterson has consistently praised Lawrence for the way he stays level, never getting too high or too low. But when he stood at the podium following the Jaguars' 18-13 loss to the Cleveland Browns in Week 2, Lawrence was angry and discouraged by the underperforming offense. He shook his head and listed mistakes made by himself, the receivers, offensive line, backs, and coaches. He talked about everyone having to be accountable for a second less than stellar offensive performance to start the season. We suck right now, he said at the podium. So I'm pretty shocked. It was as visibly upset as anyone in Jacksonville has seen Lawrence in three plus seasons. That's what you want from your leader, Peterson said last week. I don't want anybody to sugarcoat anything. It may not be in his nature to do it, but you know what? He's got to do it. As the Jaguars, 0-2, head to Buffalo to face the Bills, 2-0 on Monday Night Football, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, ESPN, the discourse surrounding whether Lawrence has lived up to the hype is growing following two underwhelming performances to start the season. Lawrence was tagged with a generational prospect. Labeled by draft analysts coming out of Clemson in 2021, but he has struggled with inconsistent play and turnovers in his first three NFL seasons. He's played well enough to earn a $275 million contract extension that made him one of the top-paid QBs in the league this summer, but he hasn't lived up to top QB status on the field. His rookie season was overshadowed by then-coach Urban Meyer, who was fired after a 2-11 start. Lawrence and Peterson bounced back with a playoff berth in 2022, but the quarterback regressed as injuries flooded the team in 2023. Those struggles have persisted early on this season, but can Lawrence finally break out for good and take the Jaguars back to the playoffs? As an NFC executive put it, you want to fall in love with him one day and divorce him the next. In 2021, Lawrence was regarded by scouts, media analysts and fans as the best quarterback prospect since Andrew Luck in 2012. His size, six foot six, arm talent and dominance while at Clemson, which included winning a national title as a freshman, made him the most hyped quarterback entering draft day. When the Jaguars drafted him first overall, the expectations were sky high. Lawrence's rookie season was a disaster under Meyer whose questionable football decisions and mistreatment of players created a dysfunctional environment. Lawrence threw 12 touchdown passes and had 22 turnovers, 17 interceptions, in a 3-14 season. One NFL executive, who requested anonymity, called it a wasted year that knocked Lawrence's developmental timetable out of whack. The Jaguars hired Peterson who is known for being QB-friendly and won Super Bowl 52 with Nick Foles and the Philadelphia Eagles in 2022. Lawrence's second season started off slow. In weeks 1-8, to eight, he threw 9 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. It wasn't until weeks 9-18 to 18 where he showed off top QB potential completing 69.7% of his passes, second in NFL, with 15 TDs and 2 interceptions and he had multiple elite moments in that time frame, too. Deleting a 17-0 first-half deficit to beat the Las Vegas Raiders 27-20. Overcoming a 9.4th quarter deficit to beat the Baltimore Ravens 28-27. Throwing three TD passes in nine minutes to force overtime and beat the Dallas Cowboys after trailing by 17 points in the third quarter. And finally, the biggest moment of his career after throwing four interceptions in the first half of the wildcard game against the Los Angeles Chargers, Lawrence threw four touchdown passes and the Jaguars won 31-30 on a last-second field goal. I feel like he never gets flustered. Defensive lineman DeForest Buckner of the Jaguars' AFC South rival Indianapolis Colts said, Obviously from his rookie year until now, he's grown a lot. But I would really say he's poised throughout a game. We were all witness to it in that playoff game against the Chargers. And that just shows the mental toughness, and just the short memory. In 2023, the Jaguars started 8-3. to 
Lawrence had a 61.5 QBR, 10th in the NFL, and completed 67.3% of his passes with 12 touchdown passes and 7 interceptions. But he fell apart in the final six weeks throwing 9 TD passes and 7 interceptions. He had a 44.8 QBR and the Jaguars went 0-5 in his starts. Lawrence's tail off can be explained by injuries he had a concussion in addition to his ankle and shoulder injuries and his top two receivers, Christian Kirk and Zay Jones, and multiple offensive linemen also missing games. He clearly wasn't right last year. An NFL personnel director said before the season, he was pretty beat up and tried to play through it. I think his toughness and his ability to play through those issues and make it all about the team is commendable. You have to look closely to find a time Lawrence has played well for an extended stretch. There was a period from week 12 in 2022 to week 12 in 2023 when Lawrence was one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. He ranked top 10 in completion percentage, yards per attempt, QBR and passing yards. He threw 24 touchdown passes to 9 interceptions. More importantly, the Jaguars were 14-4, the same record as Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. The only team in QB with a better record in that time frame was Philadelphia and Jalen Hurts, 15-1. But all that highlights his biggest issue, inconsistency. Part of that is turnovers. He has 60 in three seasons, more than any other player in the NFL. He's super confident, but the decision-making has to be better. The NFC executive said, I think it comes down to the fact that he's been great his whole life. Now he's realizing you can't do some of the things he has tried to get away with. I do believe he's a top 10 quarterback once he figures all of that out. Maybe not the top, top level, but close. Lawrence's 39 interceptions are third most in the league behind Josh Allen's 47 and Mahomes' 43 since he entered the league, but he has 59 TD passes. 16th in the NFL, while Mahomes, 109, and Allen, 103, are the only two players in triple digits. Lawrence also struggles with ball security. He's lost 21 fumbles in 52 career games, by far the most of any player since the 2021 season began Detroit's Jared Goff is second with 14 and already tied for the most in franchise history with Mark Brunel, who did it in 120 games. Entering Monday, Lawrence has a three-game streak without a fumble loss two more games would tie the longest streak of his career. I've kept two hands on the ball when I'm escaping, when I'm stepping up, when the pocket's muddy and I can see it and I know the issues, Lawrence said this week. I feel like I've done a much better job. The Jaguars believe Lawrence will solidify his spot as a top QB in the league, which is why they gave the contract extension that included $200 million in guarantees. It made him the highest-paid QB until Dak Prescott's deal surpassed that earlier this month.